Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about a new book by Sun Tzu, The Art of War. This book illustrates a clear goal, the winning of a war, any war, armed war, political war, or economic war. The Art of War, this book was translated in 1905 by a well-known author known as James Clavel. Now, the book is used for New World War. What is this New World War? It is a war caused by globalization. It is a war caused by global pandemic. It is a war to survive in the market. It is a war of ethics and values. The book is now used as an influential work on the philosophy of successful leadership that is as applicable to contemporary business as it is to war. Many leading American and European universities, business schools, use this text as a required reading for aspiring managers and leaders. The future generals to whom Sun Tzu, pronouncing the writer's name, Sun Tzu, writes have the clarity. What he has written is a clarity on how it helps an individual to get the clarity on how to achieve their goals. And his guidance in this book is about how to create victory. The content in this book is divided into five categories. Category number one is about focus. What do you focus on? It is focus on victory. If you think about successful people, they all have five things in common. Number one is focus. If you can focus on one thing at a time, there is high chance that you are going to achieve your objective. Number two is relentless. You have to be someone who is, has the quality of being relentless. Number three is being resourceful. Using the resources that are available now instead of waiting for adequate, you know, waiting for the right resources to come along so that you can achieve your objective. Number three is flexibility. I mean, number four is flexibility. If it doesn't go the way you want, be adaptable. Try to adopt the, and find a new approach on how to solve the problem. Number five is constantly try to reinvent yourself. Now, these five qualities are qualities that can make someone very successful in achieving their objective. Number one, we say focus on victory. And this is where we mention they, they focus. Successful people have five things in common. Number one, they focus. They are focused. Number two, they are relentless. Number three, they are resourceful. Number four, they are flexible. And number five, they reinvent themselves. So one of the principles is focus on victory. 
Principle number two contained in this book is know your capabilities and capa capacities. Know what you can do and what you cannot do. That is number two. Number three, if allies are important in any conflict, in any adventure, you need people to work with you. Especially during this season of political regroupings and groupings, you need people to work with you. So what you need is allies and allies are important. What you need to do is to find out the capabilities of your allies and what they are looking for when they join you. What is in it for them? This is a question you need to ask yourself. What is their motives for joining you to win? You have to find out. And number four is invest energy and time in coordination and practice. The more time you do a maneuver, the easier it becomes when you need to do that maneuver in real time and agency. So invest time and energy in practicing, doing it over and over and over again. A good example is if you have to deliver a very important speech, you have the objective of that speech is to win the hearts and the minds of the audience, then you have to practice that speech again and again over a period of time. If it is 10 minutes speech, then you have to practice for a week. Number five is avoid losing. It is very costly to lose if you somehow feel that if you go into this conflict, if you go into this contest, you are going to lose, then find other ways of protecting yourself from losing. Losing is costly. If you have to go into a conflict, make sure you come out victorious. These are the principles contained in this book. But I will add, there are other parts that are in this book which explains these principles. And it says, I will read, if you know the enemy and you know yourself, you need not to fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know yourself and not the enemy, for every victory gain, you will also suffer a defeat. If you know, neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle. This book teaches you how to become a successful leader. It is a small book, you can see. It is found in all the bookshops. If you are aspiring or you are a leader, then it is a must-read book. Now, a team performs efficiently only if it has a successful leader. Leaders are not born. They are made. This is what I believe. Leaders are not born. They are made. So, try to cultivate qualities of good leadership. And this book will help you towards that end. Thank you for taking time to watch. And if it is your first time you are coming across this channel, please hit subscribe and turn on notifications.